Hello everyone, welcome to your daily card reading for um, March 25th, 2015. <laughs> this chicken's like on top of other chicken. Um, so I'm going to do uh, one tree magic card and start with two chicken cards and we'll see, we'll see where we go from there. Um, it, it's a small box so we'll, we'll see what we can fit here too. The eucalyptus tree, love revealed, and it says, the arms of love draw closer to you, and ambition you love grows into what is visible and tangible. Number 19, and it has to do with um, existence really bringing you what you deserve, in the, the oneness of everything, and um, really returning back to you what you deserve. And... Um, so we have this little koala in the tree, which I, I always forget what the koala means, but uh, the eucalyptus has to do with like breathing easy and um, and just, you know, enjoying life where the, the breath is refreshing and, um, you know, you feel good, you're breathing good. When, when you're breathing good, it means life is good. So it's about um, love being revealed in all, all ways. Okay, so these chickens are going to knock my cards down. Huh, we got Birdie Baby again. We got her yesterday. And Bina, which is teaching and learning. This is, um, you know, birthing. It's like existence bringing something to birth through you and your life. And the organizing principles of that, which is embodied in this 19. Just that things, things are in process for you. <laughs> it's funny. So, wow. This, is, this was the third card I drew from yesterday's I think it was yesterday's reading we I drew these two and Ostara maybe it was two days ago but <laughs> this is the very similar reading now we have Vina we have two kings and an ace so this is just a strong message this is the same message over again here and um This is really saying that we have to have faith that existence is bringing the elements together that we need and, um, you know, t making everything in right timing. So um, the intelligence of the universe is really bringing, bringing uh, new things to be born through us that we're a part of. And then we have this teaching and learning. So this has to do with um, really opening opening oneself to other people's realities and also um, just being really strong and firm in your own reality and um, expressive of that reality. And, you know, I want to say being calm also, being calm to transmit your reality. So, um, seems like there, you know, there's kind of some tension going on, a little bit of tension during these two eclipses. And really, it's about um, just, you know, breathing easy, keep, keeping just in a, a calm, relaxed state, and um, just being in your reality and and just a firm a firm uh, sense of being can really can really speak louder than words sometimes so really just um, you know have your reality hold your reality hold the the um, the energy of your life 
present so that other people can pick up on that and, and you know, feel that and, and uh, know that. And that you can transmit in that way. But it's also about really um, somehow transmitting your reality to other people so that they see, see what's going on. You know, we, we only know our own reality and everybody else, everybody has very, very different experiences. Everybody has very, very different dynamics. But we all need to like learn how these dynamics are going and, and learn about um, each other's experiences. And that's, that's knowledge, is, is knowing, um, knowing people's experiences. And then we have the, the leader, Axis Mundi, the king of fire. So we have the king of cups, the king of emotions, and the king of fire. And um, fire is an action card. The, the cups is emotion. So we have like these two very stable, strong uh, presences that, that is able to really influence the world around them. And Axis Mundi, in terms of fire, in terms of action, um, they... They have so much integrity, you know, the, this leadership, really having integrity, really, you know, being true to one's ideals and um, true and honest to others and providing a good example and then also, you know, protecting and um, holding one's ground. So, um Axis Mundi, everything kind of revolves around because this is action. So um, the, there's this organizing principle around a person like this with life. This is an organizing pr principle with existence. And then we have um, Bina in the middle, which is about... about um, <laughs> we have these little poops on my cards. I'll have to clean them all. Um, but Bina is, is about really opening your emotions, opening, opening your experience of life to another and being vulnerable and, and being um, open and honest and coming from the heart and, and talk about, you know, one's position. So this is really, um, you know, showing somebody where where you're at and then being open to seeing where they're at and then and then axis mundi is about um, really uh, acting spontaneously in, in a, a harmony with everything that is and um, and allowing people and problems or whatever that comes at at this person, at you, um, as it comes at you, just really being able to uh, stand firm in in this this reality of of sense of self, you know, really being your own best friend and and um, for the sake of other people's experience, you know, and um, just being strong in yourself, and by doing that. Uh, everybody else is. Everybody else has to yield to your reality. Um, they can't tell you that you have a reality that's not yours. So this is about having your reality. Don't let somebody tell you what your reality is. You know what that is, and and really um, the integrity and the importance of having your reality is is the important um, teaching and learning. For the world. So um, again, the card here says, "The arms of love draw closer to you, and ambition you love grows <clears throat> grows into what is visible and tangible." So we have these things coming to us. Um, you know, Birdie Baby is really about um, bringing the visible and tangible. You know, bringing the things that we love, bringing life. The, the dreams of our life to become visible and tangible, even maybe beyond our 
beyond our own doing, beyond our mindset, beyond our own what we could plan, you know, something better than we can even plan. But we, we have this calling here with these two kings to really be open emotionally and receptive emotionally to other people's emotions. And then really to take this perfect action here um, where there's no, no, never any aggression, but there's um, definitely a holding of one's integrity and holding one's ground and just being solid and stable in, in, in your own life and being that example that other people can, can feel and um, be influenced by. And there is this organization of people around, around the, around, there's an organization of people around a person, but there's this organization of existence around the person too. And then, and then we have this kind of exchange with this, with the person. So we have this life organizing around us, existence organizing around us, and then we have this exchange that goes on. So, um, yeah, we've been having some powerful cards. These are two kings and an ace, and I think last time, yeah, we had two, two aces and a king, and we had bling bling for, that was the third card. So these are all repeat cards from the last day or two. So, um, but the additional message here is with, with Binna to, to see what, what is between, <clears throat> to really see what's, what's between you and another and what's, see what's between another and everything around them and, and then really understanding each other's emotional state and being there for each other emotionally for teaching and learning, but then um, again, we have this this uh, action, this fiery action of of really knowing how to relate t properly to people, and um, properly to behaviors, and properly to uh, the world around us, where we're we're really able to to measure right, and you know. Uh, be there for ourselves and be there for other people simultaneously. So, um, yeah, I hope everyone got what they needed out of this today. Sorry about uh, the redundancy <laughs> with these cards, but um, hopefully I will have my new my new deck in a couple months. So, um, but yeah, it is. Very strange how these cards uh, came out the same way. So I, you know, this is a, a strong message here that needs to needs to be acknowledged. And then we have the chicken poop on it, which is supposed to be for luck. So we have all sorts of chicken poop all over it. I have to clean my cards now. <laughs> okay, take care, everyone, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot.